Go ahead, I'll go with you. <laughs> Are you scared? Oh, I'm going. You coming, Belle? You okay? Okay, goodbye. I'm doing it, you don't have to. First, blue. You need some help? I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha, you want some help? Ready? You scared, huh? You wanna go get Belle? Watch what happens when we go to leave. Belle, you wanna help him? It's okay. Belle, you want to come up? Can you do it? What do you see? What do you see? Hi, Belle. You ready? You want to go for a walk? Okay, you ready? You, you want to go back? Here, you go this way. Come here. Watch him get a little bit more excited. There you go. Bye, Belle. Bye, Blue. Where are you going? Don't do it, you. Go ahead, drink some water. He's doing it again. This is the third time I've seen him do this. Oh well. Do you feel better, Blue? Hi, Belle. See him running a little bit? He feels a little bit more better more better. He feels safe enough to explore and run. That's really what we want. Thank you, Blue. Will I make him try and do this again? No. He wanted to do it, didn't like it. Oh, it says no swimming. He's not going far. Hi, Belle. Still there. Can't see me. It's so bright. You going party? up there. Thank you, Belle. I'm not worried about where he goes. I'm sorry about him com being comforted. And this is the beauty of when you comfort your dog. You help them increase opioids. And if there's any stress... Like, that was stress. That was pretty good stress for him, not her. That's increasing opioids. What that also does is once you seek out somebody, oxytocin, which we know has been known to be, aka, the love drug, the confidence booster, but that's not what boosts confidence. The fact you are there for somebody, that helps boost confidence. Oh, okay. Privacy. I need to go clean that up. You feel better? All right, I gotta go get your poop bag. You gonna help me get a poop bag? And you saw after I helped him, thank you, but look at those ears. After I helped him, comfort him, 
when he's able to get up again and want to walk away, that's improving confidence. That's building resilience. That wasn't your stress. Good stress. Any stress you can recover from is good stress. I see you. See how he's looking towards me. What are you doing? I gotta go pull up your poo. He's out going to be able to go walk around, run around, smell around. And that's really what you want with a dog to be able to feel safe enough to explore and come back when needed. Where does Pooh go? Oh, there it is. Gotta pause this. All right. Now that we did that, now we can talk about attachment theory. Does your dog, when they come to you, do they have to be around you? Can they be around you and walk around you? How huh, about, do they have to be right next to you? Will they ever look for you to see if they need you? To see where you're at? To see if they're on the right track or if anything's happening? How long before they actually want to come back and ask for your help? And not just in a panic grief situation where they're like, Oh, Mommy, I need you. Or Daddy, I need you. Thank you, Blue. But just to stop to check in. I'm going to the van. I'm done. Taking pictures. Thank you, Belle. Is that too much? So they also know their limitations, just like us. Go ahead. You're okay. You want to cuddle? I'm not throwing rocks in the water. I shouldn't have said that out loud. That's one of our things. We throw rocks in the water. And he flips and makes a big splash. But that's okay. This area is safe right now, so I'm not worried about it. Hi, huh, Belle. He can go back. I'm hurting. We just did Tonto National Park and it's only 100, 450 foot climb in elevation. But it is a pretty steep climb and these guys went with me. Come now. Thank you. That's why we're stopping here. This is where we can rest and relax and de-stress. Breathe. And then get moving again. That way I don't try and cause any accidents. <sighs> it's good to breathe. He's licking his foot. But I'm gonna hang out right here, halfway between the van and him. Well, closer to the van. But this one, she's 15, she still makes me nervous. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. In fact, he's not running away. Shows you how much that helps. The fact that he's not up in the woods or up in the hills shows you how much he actually does care about where I'm at. Will he go back on the thing? Does he want to do it? No, he's going to go around. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to stop this because I want to see if he's going to go try and do it again. Oh, is he? he oh, no. There's a pathway around it. Oh, darn it. He wants to go swim, but he's in the front seat with me, and it's getting colder, and we're not going to dry off as soon. There's that military cup of terror again. Anyways, this is Scott with EffectiveDog.com, and if you really watch, he does know where I'm at. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to end this, I want to see if he'll go back up. Hi, handsome. You want to do it again? You want to cuddle? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bell, what did he do to me? Now get your butt. I know what you want. It's not happening. Start over.